Today in Rhode Island, Governor Chafee, uh, Speaker Fox, and other supporters of homosexual marriage, they want to leave our children a world in which it's perfectly normal to ask my daughter, uh, you know, do you think you're going to get married one day? Yeah, of course I think I'm going to get married. Well, do you think you'll marry a boy or a girl? That's, that's their norm for my daughter, and that's their norm for every child here in Rhode Island. That's unacceptable. That is absolutely unacceptable. NAM as a movement is first and foremost a grassroots movement. Okay, we, we have a national organization that is tiny compared to the call across the country. Normally what NAM does when a state is under attack, or state marriage is under attack in a state, is to work with the grassroots organizations that are already there. Family policy councils, other pro-life, pro-family organizations to help them defend marriage on their own turf. In Rhode Island in 2008, when NAM looked at Rhode Island and looked at New England in general, they said, wow, there isn't a grassroots organization here in Rhode Island. We need to open an office. We need to get in on the ground. I'm one person. I'm one more voice. Rhode Island is the place. Um, gay and lesbian marriage advocates created what they called 6 by 12. They wanted all six New England states to legalize homosexual marriage by 2012. They've got four out of the six. They lost Maine and the people of Maine are the ones who said no. The people of Rhode Island are the ones that will say no here too. The only thing that stops people from saying if, I, if we redefine marriage somewhere down the road we'll, we'll legalize polygamy is the ick factor. Right. Oh, we would never do that. 1996 in Rhode Island the homosexual, the homosexual agenda really came onto the scene in Rhode Island and a lot of our non-discrimination, accommodation, homosexual adoption laws came on books in the mid to late 90s. Advocates at that point said, we'll never ask for marriage. They're asking for marriage. Mm -hmm. And what they're saying now, we'd never ask for polygamy or polyamory, multiple couples. Why not? There's no legal, logical, or philosophical stop. So we've taken out until death do you part, the West part. We've taken out children through contraception and abortion. We're arguing about whether we're going to take out male and female, leaving us marriage is only two people. Marriage has never been about just two people. It's not about the relationship. It's about the social impact of two people, male and female, coming together to raise the next generation. When I've talked to teenagers, we remind them that marriage is not just how you feel. There's a societal element. Society recognizes it. We know what this ring means. There's a legal element. There are rights, responsibilities, and privileges. There's a familial element, both your nuclear family and the children that you bring in. And so to say marriage is only about love, and which is what homosexual marriage wants to claim, is wrong. Nam's statement of being is protecting marriage and the faith communities that sustain it. Parents who want to be, for their religious purposes, for religious reasons, want to opt their children out of being read books such as uh, The King and King. This book is designed and was read intentionally to cause children to be more sympathetic to gay marriage. Okay? This book, to second graders, we won't, I won't read it. I had my daughter read it the other day. <laughs> it's a prince and prince. It's a prince. All the princesses come. The prince rejects them all. Girls! Ugh! Sees the boy. He's happy. It was love at first sight. He felt a stir in his heart. It was love at first sight. And this is to second graders. It ends with them kissing. The people vote and say, fine, redefine marriage. That's what we have to accept. We're not talking about rights. We're, not, we're talking about the word marriage. Don't redefine marriage. Don't mess with marriage. What homosexual marriage boils down to is an effort by two adults to have their relationship justified in the eyes of the, of the government and maybe children become an accessory. Uh, you, you probably like this, and I'll, I'll, I'll stand on it. It turns children into little teacup dogs. It's an accessory to put in my purse. I'm two men. You know what? I think we want a child. Children are now accessories to fulfill the whims and desires of two adults. Yeah, New Boy, Hampshire. Am I get in for that. Well, <laughs> it was pretty good. I, know, I, I like it. It's better than you know a string of pearls or something. NAM is here, and it's been called by the Washington Post the preeminent organization 
standing against the legalization of same-sex marriage. That is our calling. Just because there are other problems in the world doesn't make our calling wrong. I'm Chris Plant, uh, P-L-A-N-T-E, and the Executive Director of the National Organization for Marriage Rhode Island. Today is March, yes, it's March 3rd. There's a certain part of me that enjoys doing conservative politics in a Starbucks. I feel like a rebel there.